YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, if you're a new viewer tuning in, then did you not look at the name before you clicked it? I'm Remy Madison. Welcome to my channel. Hit that subscribe button down below. Pause this video right now and go click it. Join the Tiger Ambush because I would love to have you. If you're all about all things fitness, fashion, raving, lifestyle and a little bit of humor along the way hit the subscribe button follow me on my instagram at remy madison and also you can follow me now on tiktok also at remy madison so i'm thinking i'm gonna start posting on fridays i think friday is a good day for everyone to watch it everyone's not too busy it's the start of the weekend and it kind of gives you something to look forward to watching i mean if you look forward to watching my videos i mean wow i feel really <laughs> honored so, since we loved our rave tutorials so much on my channel, I'm going to do another one. So today, I'm going to take you through a very easy to do T-step tutorial, one of the most basic moves that you need to know if you're going to be a pro shuffler by the end of whenever I finish doing my shuffle videos. But essentially, if you want to get to that pro level, if you want to look really sick at a festival or a rave, you need to know the T-step. So I'm going to take you through that. So if you're about that, keep watching and let's get in to it. <sighs> So first I'm just going to show you really quickly what the T-step looks like. So this is basically a T-step demo. You'll see lots of shufflers using this as a transition move. So I'm going to be walking you through how to do it on both legs. So you're going to start with your feet shoulder width apart. Now we're going to pick our dominant leg to do this. I'm using my right leg in this case. So what your dominant leg, or in this case my right leg, is going to be doing is going to be pivoting. I've done this in a couple other shuffle tutorials, but basically you're going to be pivoting on your heel, moving your toe inwards and outwards while resting the weight on your heel. So if you're sitting in your chair, get up and start practicing with me. Practice your pivoting on both feet. So you're going to start with your dominant foot, pivot to the left side, and then pivot back to the right side with the other foot. Again, putting the weight on your heel and lifting your toe from inwards to outwards of your body. Once you've got your pivoting down, I want you to pick up the leg that isn't pivoting so you could practice pivoting with just the foot on the ground without any balance support. Try that again with both legs. Okay, so you've got your pivoting down, just practice pivoting to one side. Now we're gonna work on incorporating the other foot. So you're gonna take the other leg, which isn't the one that's pivoting, you're gonna pick it up, pike your knee up on a diagonal towards your other leg, and then you're gonna tap it out. We're gonna try and tap and land on our toe, not our heel. So try that really quick. Pick your non-dominant leg that you're not pivoting with. You're going to pick up your knee, point it toward your other leg on a diagonal angle, and then you're going to stomp it out while landing on your toe. While the other leg is pivoting, we're doing this motion. To put these two together, when your pivoting foot is facing outwards, your knee is going to be up. When your pivoting foot is moving inwards towards your body, your other leg is going to be tapping down. Again, when you're pivoting out, you're going to be picking your leg up, and when you're pivoting in, the other foot is going to be tapping the ground. Okay, so we're going to move on to the other leg now. Again, same thing while you're pivoting with one foot. When you move outwards, you're tapping out, and when you move in, you're picking up. So just practice this for a bit on your other leg. Okay, so when you're all done practicing, it should look a bit like this. Okay, so by now you've gotten the T-step down. Now I'm going to show you a couple ways you can incorporate it into a shuffle routine. You'll see shufflers doing this in a couple of different ways as a transition move. So I'm going to show you a three-move combo that you can whip out at any rave and look super cool. So for the first part of the shuffle routine combo, we're going to do the running man. If you don't know how to do the running man, I have a running man tutorial. You can check out. The link will be in the description below. So like I said, for a routine, we're going to start with three running mans. Then on the third running man, you're going to pick your leg up and poke it out into a T-step. 
So this is what it looks like from the front. Three running mans, pick your leg up, hike it out into three T-steps. Then we're going to move into a spin. And that's the routine. Okay, so let's break it down. So you're going to pick up your right leg in a pike position, pop it out while moving your back leg, pick up your left leg, pop those out back into your running man, and again with the right leg. Then on your last running man, you're going to pick up your left foot, and instead of moving into the running man, you're going to step it out into the T-step. So pivot your right foot out and pop your left foot onto the ground doing the T-step. Then you're going to take your left foot after three T-steps and move it around in a pivoting motion into a spin. So here's what the routine will look like. So you got your three running mans, your three T-steps, turn around and pivot into a spin. Now I'll show you from the front. Three running mans into the T-step, into your spin. And there you go. So that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this tutorial was super helpful and if you enjoyed it, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if this was helpful, if you enjoyed it, and if you got the move. And you can always DM me on Instagram at Remy Madison and send me your progress videos. I would love to see them. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in my next one.